Well, nothing is more iconic in Western garb than a hat, right? Well, it's up to you whether you call it a Western hat or a cowboy hat, but there is no denying that the look is legendary. We went to the stock show and rodeo in Fort Worth today to get a crash course on why it has remained so popular. So we're going to go ahead and steam it. Your applies team. At Joby's hat stand inside the Fort Worth stock show and rodeo, the lines are always long. It's a Western hat, but it's, it's a cowboy hat. It's known as a cowboy hat. And Joby Sanchez is having a hard time keeping up with the popularity of these iconic hats. I think a little bit of you know social media, Yellowstone, all the other shows that talk about the cowboy hat, and everybody wanted to be a cowboy. So the cowboy hat is the most iconic piece in the Western attire. The cowboy hat defines everything. Historians date the cowboy hat back to the late 19th century. It served to keep the sun off your face and neck, but sometimes even as a water bucket so that a horse could drink out of. In Texas, it's a symbol of the state's heritage. Lately, though, it's become a fashion staple for many under the sun, and in this case, the brim. Well, then you're going to look good. You're going to feel better. And you get a woman. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need a hat. <laughs> Keep from burning the head. Master hatters like Joby say women are largely responsible for the resurging trend, proving they aren't just for men. It's iconic. There's Western, there's Texas, there's a cowboy hat. Wait, so is it a cowboy or a cowgirl hat for you? Uh, I guess cowgirl hat. <laughs> for Chelsea Stevens, her kids and her husband, wearing a hat is a family affair. For us, we think our kids look cute in cowboy hats, so that's a big part of it, too. Just ask their daughter. Me thinking about me looking like my mom. Oh. Wearing a hat is clearly fun, but it also comes with some rules. Some of the etiquette includes taking it off or tipping it when greeting someone, never laying it on its brim, but rather the crown. And well, we're talking about hat etiquette. It always stays on, right? Always stays except on, except at your mama's table and at church. That's the only time it comes off. That's the only time it comes off. Yeah. And as I was shown, it's important you always get the right fit. Too loose or too tight just won't feel or look right. So if you're new to town or a Texas old timer, just remember these are always worn with pride. Whether you are consider yourself a cowboy or not, if you're thinking about it, go for it. Especially if you're from Texas, don't be ashamed. Just be who you are. You're a Texan. You deserve to wear the hat. Even if you're a new Texan, I know you've got one yes. too, right? You didn't bring it today, but I've seen I, you with your hat. I have. I went and got my first one yeah. at the rodeo last year. It was amazing. Yeah, you should know everyone I spoke with, they also reminded me that the cowboy or the cowgirl always makes the hat, not the other way around. I like that. Remember I'm that. kind of obsessed now, though. <laughs> I need like, more hats, more boots. <laughs> it's a confidence thing, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. I like it.